In this week's episode of Working with Evernote, it's all about security. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Evernote. My name is Carl Pulleen and in this week's episode I want to take you through some steps that you can take to make your Evernote even more secure than it already is. Now before I go into Evernote to show you how to do this I should point something out that I see often online about how Evernote is storing your notes in the cloud. Now some people seem to think that Evernote do not encrypt these notes. Now that is not strictly true anymore. Since about 2016, I think it was late, late 2015, sometime in 2016, Evernote transferred all our notes over to the Google, the Google storage system and they are now encrypted when they are stored by Evernote. Evernote also uses TLS security when you're transferring your notes to Evernote in the cloud. So all your notes are actually encrypted and stored safely offline. But I should give one kind of caveat here, which is with anything in the cloud, unless you're working with the CIA MI6 or MI5, you probably don't have absolute security, no matter what application you're using. So you should be a little careful about how you're storing notes in the cloud. But that said, Evernote's never been hacked as far as I'm aware. I have double checked this and I cannot find a case where Evernote have lost user passwords or user IDs or anybody's notes. So in that sense, we are actually pretty secure, I think. But as with all these things, it really is up to you to make that decision for yourself. But there are a few steps that you can take with your own devices in Evernote and that's what I'm going to show you to do how to do today. So let's get straight into Evernote but before I do that I should just like to say if you like this video please click on that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe. Okay let's go into Evernote and I'll show you how to make it that little bit more secure. Okay, before we get started, what I want to do is draw your attention to this web page on the Evernote website called the Security Overview. Now, there's a couple of things I want to show you in here. One of the things that I really want to focus my attention on is your Evernote's two-step verification. Now, this is very important, particularly if you're concerned about notes, but I just think in general, wherever two-step verification is available in any app that you use, you should always set it up. Yes, it can be a little annoying because you're always having to get the password, uh, the pin code in order to access <clears throat> the application. But the main reason is, is that if somebody did hack into the system and was trying to download or read your notes, you are going to get notified that somebody wants to access your notes. And if it's not you, at least you are alerted immediately and you can change your password like straight away. So this is one of those features that Evernote has been offering. I think actually it was one of the first applications, if I remember, to actually offer two-step verification. And it's something that I set up on all my apps that use this particular feature. It's just an added layer of security and gives you that peace of mind knowing that as long as you're not getting notifications that somebody wants to access your account and it's not you, then at least you know your notes are safe. The other thing I want to point out to you is the <clears throat> encryption at rest. So just to confirm, I, I wasn't sure whether it's late 2015. It's actually late 2016. Evernote migrated all their notes. So I think it was by the end of 2016. So since last year, beginning of last year, Evernote have been using the Google Cloud platform. And that basically means that anything stored in the Google Cloud platform has server-side encryption, which means your notes are encrypted at rest or encrypted in the cloud for all 
for for intents and purposes. So you needn't worry, your notes are encrypted. This is not true when you hear about Evernote does not encrypt your notes. They do encrypt your notes. Now, what can you do inside Evernote to help you to become a little bit more secure. So here I have my inbox and I've just created a dummy medical records and it's very short obviously most me people's medical records would be a lot longer than this but this is just for a demonstration purpose. If you're really concerned about something like this what you can do is hit command A actually that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, what you can do is put your cursor in the note itself and then command A which will select the whole text. Go to your edit file and encrypt selected text. Now what's going to what he's going to do then is going to ask you for a passphrase. Now the passphrase is are case sensitive and Evernote does not store a copy of your encryption passphrase. The only person who has a copy of your passphrase is you and anyone else that you share it with. This is why you need to be very careful when you do this because if you do lose your encryption passphrase, you are not going to access your notes. You're not going to be able to access your notes. Now, this I have tried this in the past and I find it incredibly annoying because I don't really keep anything of ultra sensitivity in Evernote. But if you really are concerned, then you can go through individual notes. Now, for some reason, you can't do this on the note itself. You actually have to highlight the text. But for all intents and purposes, I don't think there's that much difference. If you hit the command A, it's only two keys and you can then set up your encryption. Just for those of you interested, this also encrypts any images that are caught up in the highlight. So anything that you've got in there will be encrypted. So that's actually on your computer the encryption. So you would basically have double encryption. So I'm not going to set that up because I don't, this is just a dummy account. Sorry, a dummy note. Now, the other thing that you can do is create what's called a local notebook. So we're going to notebooks here. Let's say I want to create a local notebook. Now, the thing is, the local notebooks, what that means is, is that this notebook is never sent to the cloud. It is only stored on your computer. It's not stored in the cloud. It's only on your computer. Now, this is great, particularly if you're working at a computer regularly and it's at home then you can actually have a, a notebook that you can keep all your sensitive information in knowing that it is not going into the cloud. Now to do that, it has changed a little bit. In the past, you just created new notebook and you would then select which one. Now you have to actually hit the option key on a Mac. I'm afraid I don't know how to do this on Windows, but I will, I, in fact, actually I can tell you what to do on a Windows because it's here. A local notebook basically are notes that are not synced to Evernote and only exist on the computer where they are in created. So this adds that little extra security knowing that whatever you put in there is not going to be sent to the cloud. Now on a Mac, it's press and hold the option key and then you click file new local notebook. On Windows, because I don't have a Windows machine, uh, you just click File and l create local notebook. So let's go into here. I'm going to click the option key. I'm going to go into File and it says local, New Local Notebook and I can create Offline and create that notebook. Now that notebook now is offline. It's local. It tells me it's local on my Mac. There's no way anyone is going to have access to that notebook unless they have access to my computer. So that's another area where you can be a little bit more secure. Now let's go and have a look at the mobile device and I'll show you how you can actually give yourself a little extra security on your mobile device. So what we can do here is we can open up Evernote right here and you have uh, what we need to do is to go into your settings which is down at the bottom with that person icon. So you click on that <coughs> and go into settings. And as you go down, you'll see that you can actually access a passcode lock. Click on the passcode lock and you can turn on passcode lock. Now I actually set this up as a demo. So I know that my passcode is 1111. I can tell you because I don't usually set up a passcode lock and that is now set up. So every time I leave my Evernote, every time I want to go in, it, I have to enter the passphrase, so 1111, and I can go straight in. Now, for those of you using an iPhone 10 or iPhone 10S, um, 
or iPhone R, I think, XR, or whatever, anyway. <clears throat> Any of the newer iPhones with Face ID, you can use Face ID. You can also use Fingerprint ID on an older phone. So when you go in, now I can just use Face ID, and that's going to go straight in and open up my Evernote. Now that's one way that you can secure, add additional security to your actual Evernote. Now the thing is, on a mobile device you actually have built-in security. So I for one don't ever use that because I know that only I'm going to have access to my phone or even my wife and there's nothing in Evernote that I would want to hide from my wife anyway. But the thing is, is that this is entirely up to you what you want to do with this. But your phone should have your security settings already, whether you're using fingerprint ID, a long pass number, password, or you're using face ID, that should give you the added security to make sure that your Evernote is secure. Okay, well, that's it for this week's episode. I hope you found it useful. I hope it's given you some ideas about how you can protect your Evernote notes that little bit more than the automatic protection that you already get. Thank you very much for watching this episode. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked what you saw and you would like to learn more about becoming better organized and more productive, then get yourself enrolled in my free beginner's guide to creating your own COD system. And if you'd like to learn more about how I can help you, then visit my website at carlpauline.com. All the details are in the show notes below.